In case you forgot that Samurai Jack Season 5 is on Adult Swim, we have a ton of booty shots, crude humor, and cursing. Welcome to Season 5. Sup everyone, I'm your female otaku and I'm here to review Episode 6 of Season 5 of Samurai Jack. How crazy was this episode? We were just bombarded with, first off, fan service, and not, I'm not talking about sexual fan service, well, there was sexual fan service, but I'm talking about all the references to previous seasons of Samurai Jack. Now, I didn't recognize all of them, however, I did recognize a good portion of them, like the gangster samurai. How can you forget the, the gangster samurai? There's no way, that dude was totally bizarre. Honestly, just the gangster samurai was back. We also had the three blind archers, just, oh man, which is one of the best episodes of Samurai Jack. Well, obviously before season five, one of the best episodes. I was so shocked to see them, I was like, <gasps> You changed everything! Like, oh my god. We had we had the people over at the rave and they did the same dance that Jack did. Oh man. That was that was crazy. I was totally flipping out when I saw all that there. They were too kind. Too incredibly kind. And not only that, they didn't just show them how they are in the present, but they also also gave you like a flashback to the episode. I'm just like Another great thing is that they brought back the robot from episode one. Cheers, babe. I, I love him so much. Oh my gosh, it was just great to hear his voice, his crazy antics and stuff, like how he's trying to get onto the boat and then how he was trying to talk to Aku and they got beat up by the dogs and stuff, which at first, I thought those dogs were the dogs from uh, the very first episode of Samurai Jack, but um, no, they, they, didn't, they didn't really look too much or really sound too much like the other ones, so never mind. But we had Ashi throughout the entire episode so adventuring from place to place, trying to find out where Samurai Jack is. And she comes across various of people who have encountered Jack as well, who were all inspired by Jack, or at the end when she came across a bunch of people who were defeated by Jack, she, they, they were just like, listen, no one can touch him, like, don't don't even try. Like, <laughs> it, was, it was very interesting, but Ashi was touched by the amount of people that Jack has saved, and this is definitely gonna help in the future. All of these people, and there's gonna be even more fan service in the future with more references to previous episodes of Samurai Jack, where, you know that army that Scotsman was talking about in last week's episode? This will be that army. All these people are gonna gather up together, and we're gonna have Jack's sword, which is great. I'm so happy they're finally focusing on that because Jack needs his sword. So they're all gonna gather up, we're gonna have the sword, we're gonna attack Aku, bam, end of season. An interesting thing that we saw with Ashi was that her skin tight suit was actually um her skin you could say cuz she when she was a kid she was pushed off a ledge to be one with the darkness so this black i guess you could call it like tar really like like some lavish we wouldn't call it the, this darkness was like melted or burned onto her and became a part of her for life it grew up with her like that's intense man so she scrubbed that off and now she looks gorgeous oh well, she already did look gorgeous but now she looks super fly with uh this new outfit new hairstyle i do like it but keep that hairstyle with the skin tight black suit and we are ready to go. Ashi eventually finds Jack and he's about to commit seppuku. But Ashi was like, you know, yelling at him like, no, don't worry, the kids are alive. You inspired a bunch of people. You inspired me. The hope you've given us, it was good. Don't worry, man, you don't gotta kill yourself. Obviously that wasn't exactly what she said, but, but you know what I'm trying to say. And Jack listened and you know what? He is finally ready. And now he's doing what I told him to do, what I told everyone that he should do back over in like episode one or two to take the initiative to defeat Aku, and that is to find the sword. So how are they gonna find the sword? What's the first steps? I guess go back to where he lost the sword? Ah, oh, man, this, this could take a while. I don't know. Maybe it will turn up to be only one episode. This is gonna be 10 episodes left, so... Hmm, I really don't know what's gonna happen within the next three episodes. It may take a little a little while longer to find the sword than we believe. Uh, maybe the finale episode is actually gonna be a two-parter and we're gonna have like an extra long battle with the whole war and then maybe just, you know, like a, the war with like the army and stuff, fighting Aku, and then 
at the end, it'll just be, you know, Jack, Manaku, Mano a Mano. I don't, I don't really know. But let me know your thoughts on this utterly hype, too kind, fun episode. What'd you think about all them booty? What'd you think about them crude jokes? What'd you think about all that cursing? What'd you think about all that fan service, man? Like this was, this was a fun episode. I freaking loved it. Also, which design do you prefer uh, with uh, Ashi? Do you prefer her new design or her old design? I'm your female Taku. Sign out.